Well, the Harris campaign isn't saying much publicly about this process, but they have set a clear deadline to announce the selection, and it's just one day away. Every vehicle coming and going at the vice president's Washington home got extra scrutiny from the media over the weekend. Was it a VP contender? We know from a number of reports that at least a handful of them from the shortlist were there for in-person sit-downs with Kamala Harris. They all have pluses and minuses to them. I think, you know, obviously Shapiro brings Pennsylvania, Mark Kelly's in Arizona. Um, Secretary Pete has ties to Michigan. Like, they all have something special that, to the map. And while Harris's own nomination for the top spot has been relatively drama-free, the VP selection process is already drawing long knives on the left. I mean, obviously, there's just candidates we think are better for labor. UAW President Sean Fain made it clear he's not crazy about Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro or Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, two top contenders. But those two could help deliver swing states, no doubt a key consideration for Harris. She is considered more left-wing than crazy Bernie Sanders. Look at her. Republican nominee Donald Trump, appearing at a rally in Atlanta on Saturday, went after Harris, who may face more pressure now to do a sit-down interview about her positions. Harris is about the future and what she's going to do. But at that same time, we need to know where she stands on a lot of these issues, and she's got to do a media interview soon because voters deserve to know that. Harris is expected to appear with her VP pick tomorrow in Philadelphia, kicking off a tour of seven swing states throughout the week. In Washington, Doug Lucader, Fox News.